everyone. How's it going? Happy Tuesday. So good to see you guys. Hello, Meerkat. Welcome on in. Good to see you as always. Sorry I wasn't here last night. Something came up last minute. Um, so I decided to reschedule. We're, we're still going to stream twice this week. We'll still, we'll still meet our quota. Uh, but we're going to move last night's stream to Thursday. So we'll be streaming tonight, Tuesday, and Thursday. And we'll be playing Death's Door, which we started last week and has been so much fun so far. We're only one stream into Death's Door. Um, so we're really early in, but I cannot wait to play more. Because so far, it looks beautiful. It's funny as heck. And it, it's so much fun to play. Which is basically, like, what more are you looking for in a game, right? That's, that's it right there. The music's really good, too. That's another uh, positive point. And so, yeah, we, we did start last week, um, and we will be picking up with more of that today. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. Um, when we left off in Death Store last week, we actually left off in the evil grandmother's basement. <laughs> so the whole premise of the game, if you need a refresher, is that we actually work uh, in the afterlife, and our job is to go and harvest souls, essentially. And so we get sent out on our first mission, and someone steals the soul that we were meant to get. So we go and track them down, and they're like, Hey, look, I got the soul. You should help me, because I found this really big spooky door. In fact, it's Death's Door. Now we're helping him out, and in order to open Death's Door, we need three very powerful souls. And one of these powerful souls is this grandma, who we found out some more about through the backstory. Um, it turns out that she was afraid of death, I guess, or trying to find a way uh, to cheat death. And so she she actually partnered with with some of the people in her office, which seems to be a bit of a conspiracy. But, um, and she started experimenting on her family members, and she found out that if she turned people into pots, or gave them pot heads, ceramic heads, that they were able to live forever. So anywho, uh, this lady has been alive for a very long time and she experimented on all of her friends and family and made them potheads. Yeah, uh, I, I don't, don't worry, I get the joke in there. And uh, yeah, so anyway, we're, we're putting a stop to that. And when we left off last time, we were in the basement where all of her uh, big science contraptions are really getting to, uh, to the bottom of what's been going on in the spooky mansion. Meerkat says, Tiff is an Uber Eats driver of souls, and someone stole the McDonald's. <laughs> That's actually a perfect comparison. I love that. Yeah, let's let's go with that. She turned them into average Canadians. <laughs> I mean, it's not illegal to be a pothead where I live, but you shouldn't make people potheads against their will. You you know, it's it's gotta be a, a voluntary decision to become a pothead. <laughs> And so gra grandma wasn't giving people much of a choice, and that's that's where we draw issue here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so last time I saw you guys, well, I saw you guys last week for Death's Door, of course. But on Thursday, we actually did a special stream. We did um, a co-stream of the Game Awards, which was super fun. I obviously may have been a little disappointed because the game that I was looking for, um, cough, Hogwarts Legacy, cough, <clears throat> wasn't actually shown. Uh, but it was okay. It was still fun to, like, hang out and, like, you know, obviously spend some time with you guys. And I still had a blast, so I want to thank everybody who stopped in to the, uh, the Game Awards stream on Thursday. Hello, Euro! Hello, Tater! How are you guys tonight? Thank you for stopping in. We're picking up with more Death's Door this evening. Put on my spectacle. Uh, one thing I do want to show you guys before we get started. I got something really cool here. So, as you guys know by the balloons in the background. They've actually seemed to have floated up a little higher, so you can't even really see them right now. But that one's a Pokeball, and that one's a five. Um, so we were celebrated my five year stream anniversary this month. I've been streaming on Twitch for five years. And so I got my friend Jeff, shout out to Orange Strong. He's a great artist. To make these, these are postcards. As you can see, they are nice and glossy on the front because they're reflecting my ring light. We've got uh, the star of the show, oops, the star of the show here, Muffin, gazing longingly at that number five balloon with a little thanks for five years on the back. I just got these in the mail today, so I'm going to send them out at the end of the week. Um, anybody who wants one, I got a whole stack here, and I just want to show my appreciation to you guys for all the support over five years. So if anybody wants one, uh, yes, I will I will mail to uh, to the United States before you ask, because people had already asked that. They were like, Tiff, is this a Canada-only offer? I was like, no. 
Apparently it's like $2 to mail something to the United States. So I guess you guys are worth $2. So <laughs> TLDRs, if you want one, please let me know because uh, I, I'm going to mail these out at the end of the week. So yeah, it's a, it's a special piece of collectible merch. You don't want to miss out on this. So uh, if you do want one, just just um, shoot me a message with your with your address or I can send you a digital version, whatever you're more, most comfortable with. That was just a quick little plug before we get started here today. I, I absolutely love them. I think they're so cute. They're really well done. And um, yeah, just a great way to celebrate five years. So there you go. That's that's the only plug I really had uh, <laughs> to start off tonight's stream. So uh, without further ado, I think I'm just going to hop into Death's Door here. We had so much fun with this last week and you know, we didn't get to play a whole lot. We, we played like two and a half hours last time. So I, I'm just really looking forward to getting back into it. I'm sure I'll be a little rusty because the combat is... Um, you know, it's not like Dark Souls level tough, but it does require strategy and skill. Um, it's certainly inspired by Dark Souls, so I'll probably be a little bit rusty to start here, but... We'll give it a try. Give me a moment while I set up the game. Hope everybody's doing good, by the way, and everybody had a great weekend. It's almost Christmas. We are less than two weeks. What is it, 12 days till Christmas? What's the date today? 11 days till Christmas?! Oh my god, that is like no days. That's that's wild. Okay, <laughs> that is no days at all. Euro says, "Do we not get a sample of your new pro level guitar skills?" <laughs> oh yeah. So today I did something fun. Um, I was supposed to have a meeting this afternoon. I got canceled. So I was like, hmm, "What am I gonna do?" So I picked up the old guitar back here, and I learned how to play all too well on guitar. And um. I do not trust myself yet to play it live. Give me, give me some more days of practice, and maybe, maybe I'll, I'll give you a show later in the week. <laughs> but yeah, that that was like my goal as a guitar player was to like play all too well. So I'm, I'm very glad I managed to do it. Uh, one second here, sorry. Team capture, death store. Here we are. Wow, we we almost beat a quarter of the game in two and a half hours, so I guess this game's not very long. That's good to know, is we'll probably have this finished by uh, by Christmas. Not that we're in a rush to finish it, but you know, if it'll work out well in the schedule. Hi, please! Get good, little crow! <laughs> so here we are, I'm a little crow um, who works for the afterlife, the Reaping Commission. Um, so here I am. I'm a bit of a desk jockey. Well, I am for a while. I gotta do reports and stuff. Then I go out and harvest souls and whatnot. This is my boss. His name is Darwin. Uh, he, he gives me abilities, which is cool. Actually, let's buy one right now. Let's upgrade our magic to start off today's stream. Our co-workers are Agatha. I heard a rumor about a crow many, many years ago. This crow failed to finish their mission, and their door had to be manually removed and put in storage. They say the paperwork was beyond anything they'd ever seen before. They had to invent new forms. Three typists passed out from exhaustion. Oh, how I envy them. <laughs> Agatha's really, uh, really loves her job. She's really hyped about her job, so. I mean, we love that. But yes, yeah, so we have to go through this door up here to head through... Should we talk to this guy? Oops. Okay, so A is to roll. I gotta get my buttons. My buttons down. A is to roll. X is to slash. Is that it? Oh, right. That was like the heavy attack. How do I use my bow again? Oh, I have fire! I forgot! I forgot. Last day we did pick up a fire spell as well. Here we go. Also, guys, I do apologize. I completely forgot to run OBS in administrative mode again. I always forget to do this. Um, so I noticed that the stream is a tiny bit choppy. I'm just going to quickly close out, immediately relaunch, uh, and run as an administrator, and hopefully that should smooth out those issues. So I'll be back in literally 10 seconds. <laughs> 